Hi Nicole here, welcome to another video. So I don't have to probably convince you how good Procreate is. I'm sure you're as big a fan as I am. It's an app I use every day and with every release they constantly surprise us with either um, something that we've been asking for for a long time or otherwise they'll just throw something awesome in the mix that we never saw coming. So we can't really complain when there's one or two features that are still missing. But what we can do is get creative and find solutions around how we can help each other. So today I wanna to share a document with you which will hopefully, hopefully help you out. If you miss rulers, like you would use in any other graphics application, then you're gonna love this file. If you're using Procreate to create something for print, this is gonna be particularly awesome for you. But even if you just wanna see kind of what measurements and to what size that you're working with, um, it'll be a real help. So you can always turn the perspective grid on in, in Procreate, which is really handy. And there's also um, other people have created grid brushes. I've created one of those myself, and that's great for lettering and calligraphy. But this is more just a subtle ruler that's in the background that you can see the units across the um, canvas and keep an eye on your measurements and also really easily find the middle of the document. So hopefully this file will help you out. There's, um, it's completely free. You can get the link down below. Um, and there's an eight by eight inch and a 10 by 10 inch. So I'm just gonna take you on a quick demo and show you how you can use them. Because if you don't create your canvas in the right way and set it up correctly, it could potentially skew the rulers to fit and scale them down and then they're no longer accurate. That'll all make sense in a moment. So to make sure you have them set up at the accurate size, let's take a look at how to do it. Okay, so here I am on my iPad and you remember earlier I mentioned that there's a couple of key tips that we need to keep in mind when doing this because Procreate doesn't always react the way that you might expect when copying and pasting layers from one canvas to another. You'll see there's a link below that you can download the ruler files, the guidelines. So once you download and unzip those, you can import the two Procreate files, but you will also notice there is four other individual PNGs come back to those later but right now we're going to look at the procreate file now what you could do if you're creating an 8 by 8 inch canvas you could just slide to the left here like this and press duplicate and now you have 8 by 8 inch canvas ready to go now you have this file set up it's 300 dpi and you can see we've got these rulers ready to go which give you your inch measurements at the top and um, on the vertical axis and also the center point here so this shows you the very middle of the document so as I said this is 300 dpi this document so it's set up for high resolution if you were to use it for print but of course you'd need to change your color format for print to CMYK which we spoke about last week and I can leave a link below to that article. So that's showing one example that you can use this file potentially as is and just duplicate it, keep a master and use that to create your artwork with the rulers already set up. Just say you wanted to use these rulers in another canvas that you've already created your artwork or you want to copy and paste them into another document. It's really important that you set up the document in the same dimensions, the exact same dimensions as this canvas and I'll show you why. So if I come into create custom canvas and just say I had a document that's different to the dimensions of the um, ruler documents, the master ruler documents. So I want to create a document that's 10 inches wide by eight inches and it's 300 DPI. And then I'll press create. So it seems as if I should be able to copy my individual rulers from uh, both of those files into this new document. So my 10 inch on the horizontal horizontal and my eight inch on the vertical and that should be fine. I should be able to copy and paste from my master ruler document into this new document. You would think that, right? But let me just show you what happens when I try and do that. So my width was 10 inch. If I would just copy that and go back into the new document. Now I'm going to paste that inside my new artwork. And look at that, now it's just shrunk it. Now we know that that is 10 inches. That ruler is definitely 10 inches and I've just copied it from a 10 inch document. So we are absolutely sure that that is 10 inches and this document is 10 inches in the width, but no, it has shrunk that. So these units are no longer accurate. Now don't ask me the technical reasons as to why. There's a whole thread on this um, topic on the 
Procreate Forum and I've read it two or three times and I still am having trouble understanding why this particular issue exists. But as long as you know that it exists and you're aware of it, that's the important thing. So this was just to show you an example of when Procreate scales things unexpectedly. So in that scenario, if you're using any file size that's different to the templates that are set up, then you are best to import those rulers. So use the PNG files and import the single files directly into your canvas rather than using the templates that are already set up. And that will ensure that your rulers stay in the correct units and they're accurate. So using anything other than the template size, then import the individual PNG rulers. And just to show you as well that you can always check the dimensions on your gallery screen. So if we go back to the gallery, it's really small under the title here, but you can see the eight by eight inches, 10 by 10 inches. So that's a good place to always be know that you can check the dimensions of the document. So yeah, I just always found that I was missing rulers and I didn't want sort of always to be using a dot grid or a, a really obstructive grid that, um, you know, was lines all over the canvas. Sometimes I just wanted a subtle ruler. So I really hope this helps you as well. And also something you can do if you wanted all sides of the canvas to have the ruler, there is that duplicate second ruler in there, the, um, the one that's just individual. So you've got one that's a join of both horizontal and vertical and this single one. You can just move this to the bottom of your canvas if you wanted a bottom uh, version of the ruler as well. And I would suggest just putting on magnetics as well when you do that because that'll get um, that'll stick to the middle a lot more easily and you know that you're not kind of moving it out of position so the that'll help you align that um, anything that goes outside of the canvas um, you know if you move anything outside of the canvas it a procreate will automatically delete that part of the artwork that is outside the canvas so just be careful when you're moving that to use magnetics and it should work fine so we can even do this on the other side here. I've got a duplicate of the vertical as well. So just make sure magnetics is on and just move that onto the right hand side of your canvas. And you can always knock back that transparency too. So just open the layer, um, press the N and use the transparency slider, the opacity, just take that, knock that back, back a bit and it'll just uh, lower the opacity and make it a bit more subtle if you wanted to do that as well. Great, so I hope you found that helpful and I hope these inch rulers are useful for you. If you have any other sizes that you want to request or if there's um, if these turn out to be popular and you guys like them, please let me know because I'll um, expand the collection and just add some more. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time.